What's up, guys? Welcome to another... This isn't an episode. Welcome to another Poor Man Mod video. This is going to be kind of a quick vlog slash update um, for the super here. Before we get started on this little vloggity vlog kind of video, whatever I'm doing here, I want to make sure that you know I am creating another YouTube channel, or I already created it. It's called Garage Life. It's going to be similar to this, but different. Similar, but different. Yeah, so I've got Garage Life. Um, it's going to be my new YouTube channel. I know some people get annoyed when people have multiple channels, but I promise you won't regret subscribing to it. So I have a link down below. Go over, check it out, and subscribe. And uh, let's get on with the vloggity vlog. Now, I'm sure you guys remember, well, the five of you that watched the video because YouTube's throttling my traffic. The five of you that saw the video I posted last week or two weeks ago about the burnout callout when I did a burnout in this car, um, a lot of people were disappointed with the burnout. And, uh, you know, I didn't think it was that bad, but I will explain the reason why it was only like a 10 or 15 second burnout. So, you know, I was doing my normal thing. I haven't done many burnouts in my life. I'm not a burnout kind of guy usually, but um, I was doing my burnout and, you know, holding the brake, rev, so, you know, Hold the clutch in, hold the gas in, dump the clutch, floor it, stand on the brake, and uh, sit there and do a burnout. Well, the reason it only lasted about 15 seconds is because after about 15 seconds, the brake pedal went right to the floor. I mean, I wasn't fully on the brake. I wasn't standing on it super hard, but I was holding the brake pedal there so I could sit, and the brake pedal just went right to the floor and I was like shit that is not good so I stopped doing a burnout and didn't really think anything of it after that I drove the car home fine um, but I was talking to James down at Siki Manufacturing about it and he told me that my brake fluid boiled which makes a lot of sense and uh, he informed me that I need to change my brake fluid right now because I boiled my fluid and uh, yeah, I think that is very interesting. And he told me a story about how um, he used to run dot three brake fluid in his car and he was going down a stretch, like going super fast in one of his CRXs or something, slammed on the brakes and his brake fluid boiled and he couldn't stop. And that's when he switched to modal 5.1, which is what I have right here. And it's, this is what I'm going to be putting this is what I'm going to be putting in the Supra, and if you actually remember, um, in the video where I did a bunch of little things to this car, I did add modal 5.1, but I only added it to the reservoir. What was still in the brake lines was this stuff. Valvoline 3 and 4. Now they all have different boiling points, and the higher number you go, the higher the boiling point is. So I had that Valvoline in there, and I want to go over with you some information which Maybe it'll help you out and convince you to upgrade your brake fluid. So, dot three brake fluid, which is the most common, which you'll find at the gas station, any auto parts store, dot three has a wet boiling point of 284 degrees. Dot four has 311, so just a little bit of an increase. And then dot four, or I'm sorry, Dot five, which is racing brake fluid. You don't want to run dot five in a street car because it doesn't mix the moisture with the brake fluid. It separates it, which is not good for daily driving, but for a race car, it's okay. So five and 5.1 both have a wet boiling point of 356 degrees. You don't want to run five in your daily driver because I think it doesn't separate, or you don't want to run, you don't want to run dot five brake fluid in your daily driver because dot five doesn't separate the water and the fluid, which is bad. 5.1, the moisture will mix with the fluid, but it has a higher boiling point. So what was in my brake lines was wet because it was older, wet three and four. So it had a lower boiling point. So it boiled, gas got into the system, brake pedal went to the floor. So now I need to do a full system flush with 5.1, um, 
you know, if you're not doing crazy burnouts or if you're not doing heartbreaking, you really don't need 5.1 unless you live at a higher elevation. But you know, if you're just putting around in your daily driver, just normal daily driving, you're probably not gonna need 5.1. But I wanna do some more burnouts in that car because that was fun. And I might do autocross and, you know, I would like to drift it eventually, which probably will never happen. But I don't want my brake fluid to boil again. That was not a fun feeling. It scared the hell out of me because I didn't know what the hell happened. So I'm going to be upgrading to 5.1 eventually when I find the time to bleed the whole system. But I thought you guys should know that. Um, you know, you might make fun of me for my brake fluid boiling from doing a burnout. But I hope this video informs you the differences between the brake fluid. Um, there are other differences other than just the boiling point, but I think that's the biggest concern, and that's why I'm going to 5.1, because I don't want that to happen again. But there is another issue with this car, because it wouldn't be a Supra without problems. And right now, the car will not run. Why, you might ask? Well, the fuel pump's not working. <sighs> You see, when I took that car out to drive, when I just did the underdrive crank pulley, it was here. I swapped them, took the car out, and I backed the Supra up over there, drove it just fine, and I turned it back on and drove it, got about halfway here, and blah, 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 blah. It died. Push it the rest of the way here, won't start. I got zero fuel pressure. So that's pissing, no, I just spit. So that's pissing me off, so I gotta fix my damn fuel pump now, and flush the brake fluid. Um, I'll get to that eventually. And I have, I need to get, I need to figure this out too. I do have a Siki Hydro brake that I need to install. This is gonna be way better than the, the one that's in there, case board or whatever. So I got some things I need to do to the Supra, but I'm actually running out of time here. I'm supposed to go to a baseball game with my girlfriend. So, I thought I'd let you know about the brake fluid, and I thought I'd give you a little update on the Supra, because, you know, the fun couldn't last too long without something breaking, right? So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something. I hope you learned something. That's why I do this. And, uh, make sure you subscribe, make sure you subscribe to Garage Life, and, uh, I'll see you next time, or over at Garage Life. So, peace.